<laughs> Hi, everybody. Oh, my God. Hello, hello. Hi, Dylan. Hi, Cup. Hi, DMY. Greetings. Greetings, greetings. Uh... Hello, Dant. Hi. How are you guys doing? How was your How was your Tuesday? What did you guys do today? Anything fun? Mm. I'm glad that the... Uh, it seems like the commands are working, which brings me some joy. Damn why I love you. I hope you're doing well. Hello, Tim. Went to work, slowest day ever. What do you What do you do for work, Cup Noodles? What is your What is your occupation? We have music. We do have music. Love yes. Yeah. Love you, Dad. Can't be live. It's been so many months. XD. Damn, I really appreciate it. Welcome back. Twenty months. That's freaking crazy. That's freaking crazy. I feel like, honestly, with you, it does feel like twenty months. It it does it really. I, I feel I feel like you've been here forever. Hello, Skoosh. You're a sales associate at the Dying Corporation and is Macy's. Oh boy. <laughs> yeah, I I don't I don't know anybody that shops at a Macy's nowadays. I feel like Macy's is a uh, yeah. It's not really fashionable anymore. Is the Macy's Day Parade even, like, a thing anymore? Do they even call it that? Went back to school today. One of the... One of the teachers sucks. Sorry to hear that. Yeah, I went back to school today also. Today was my first day returning to class. Uh, I had two back-to-back three-hour courses, which were, um... Like, moderately intense. Nothing too bad. But uh, we, we made it through. I am very tired. I, I am letting you know now that uh, I am very tired. It has been a long day for me because of, because of my classes. Uh, hi, Oakley. Well, uh, you've been around quite a bit. It, it feels like forever. It feels like I've been streaming forever, honestly. Like, since I was born. I came out of the womb with a, with a friggin... <laughs> Blue Yeti mic playing Fortnite cranking 90s. Uh Macy's been oh Macy's is like JC Penny. <laughs> They're both not ending very well. Um How was school? School was School was quite interesting. Uh I had my first class today was in a 500 level advanced techniques class and the other class i had today was i don't know, community mental health who who care who cares about community nowadays you know what i mean right like who even like what even is a community i i've never i've never experienced a community before so i would know nothing about communities or mental health let's be fair i i don't know anything about either oh my god lily are you okay <laughs> uh went to pick up a graphing calculator like, I don't know. jeez cup <laughs> that is rough that is rough wait are we in 60 fps i tried to turn the source up to 1080 but i don't think it allowed me to I tried though. I really did. How did you enjoy? Uh, no, be right back. I'm gonna get no worries, Oakley. Hot Topic Spencer's and the food court will save them. You think Hot Topic is really gonna save the 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 mall? I, I I highly doubt that. You know what's funny too is that I used to work at Hot Topic, and one of the questions that was on a monthly. Uh, 
questionnaire about Hot Topic was, is there a Spencer's in the same mall? Because apparently there being a Spencer's in the same mall affects the sales that they get. Um, I don't know what that is, Dylan. Lily is, Lily is going crazy right now. When will you go to the P.O. Box? I'm going to my P.O. Box this coming Friday. So it's not technically Wednesday yet. So three days. In three days, I will be going to my P.O. Box. Hello, zombie greetings. Thank you. Um, I wasn't here for the Fortnite days. Tough. Yeah, uh, you weren't really missing very much during the Fortnite days. I was very... I, was, I would say I was pretty good, though. I'm not going to lie. I don't think... I, I would say that I was on the pretty good end of, of that game. I want to get back to being good at a video game, you know? I mean, I'm always, like, moderately... I'm always above the average in terms of video games, but with Fortnite, I put so much time into it that I was, like, particularly good, I would say. I have a package that will arrive Friday or Saturday. Okay, no worries, Schultz. We will, uh... I will cross my fingers. Hello, Danny. How are you? How are you doing? Uh, I have PE at 9 a.m. Well, that's... That's actually not bad, though. Getting gym out of the way, wake you up in the morning. Hi, Lemon. Greetings. Hello, Pam. Um, hi, Neville. If you want me to say hi to you, please say hi. I, I don't want to miss any of you. I want you all to be acknowledged. Equally so. You deserve it. You don't really deserve it, but I feel I owe it to you. Did Margate get the hurricane? doesn't look like it but i don't know i i am not there oh don't say hi to me then all right fine i i am telling you now chat i am warning you tonight my temper is short tonight is not a night of bullshit i will be direct i will be honest there will just be, there will be no cutting corners. All right, I'm letting you know now. If I seem on edge, it's because I'm a little tired. <laughs> uh, I'm a little tired. Uh, have you got buzzing on your end? I don't think so. Currently looking, I don't see. No sudden movements, that's right, that's right. If you get out of line, I will call you out on it. My finger isn't on the ban button, but like, what are we cutting corners on? Uh, God, I can't even think of a good joke of what we would cut corners on. <laughs> Why stream? You should go to bed because I love you. And to be honest, I feel like, I feel like the days that I'm in a good mood, I want to stream and I might be on edge, but I'm in a good mood yesterday. You know, what's, you know, what's weird. You, you want to know what's, you know, it's kind of weird. It's kind of weird. I'll tell you what's kind of weird yesterday. You like jazz. I had one of the, uh, I had one of the lowest viewer counts that I've had in a very long time yet i was so happy with how stream went that i don't even care and i think that's why i'm in a good mood i me taking the weekend off has let me mentally reset and reevaluate what i'm trying to get out of streaming and i think <laughs> I think that if I'm not having fun, then I don't want to stream. Isn't that a weird, isn't that weird? Isn't it odd that I had to come to that conclusion? Like, wow, I guess if I'm not having fun, I just won't stream. <laughs> um... I agree, Dan. I agree. Sorry I went to bed early. How 
dare you? How dare you? <laughs> you are not allowed to sleep while I am live. You must commit. That's right, shame. <laughs> that is right. I got, now I gotta turn on the. Now I gotta turn on the shame just for you. I didn't get your reference. What was your reference? Let me let me read. Let me let me scroll back deep into the archives of Twitch chat and see what you referenced. I, I don't understand. I, I don't get your reference. Stop streaming so late. How about this, Pam? How about you make me? <laughs> and I know I ask this question a lot. Alright? I know I ask this question a lot. Do I look like a dancing hat wearing monkey to do, do i give off that impression because from my pr i looked at myself in the mirror at least a few times today and i could swear i look nothing like a monkey speaking of hats i will also be shipping out uh, any of the XDAD caps that have been purchased this Friday. All the things will be done Friday. That's a trick question. How is it a trick question? Oh, what you're saying, a... Are you saying that a dancing hat-wearing monkey couldn't be adorable? You just insulted all the dancing hat-wearing monkeys. Think, think, think about what you say before you say it, Pam, because, uh... <laughs> you, just, you just offended a very specific population. They're not going to be happy with you. You don't have enough hair to be a monkey. That's that's kind of true. <laughs> you got me there. That, that that is right. Jarvis explains definitions of evolution. I don't even know who Jarvis is. You say Jarvis, and I think of Jarvis U, the Magic the Gathering player. So I, I don't know who the hell that is. Is Jarvis a an imaginary friend you've made? Is that one of your neighbors? You know what's funny is that I don't even think I have chaotic energy. You you may think that this is chaotic energy, but in reality, I have I have no fucks to give. I think that that is I think that's the energy that I have. There are the I have ran out of fucks today. <laughs> Iron Man's AI assistant. Uh oh. Oh. Less exciting. Yeah, this is not me chaotic. Me chaotic is way over the top energy. I have no energy. It, it is the opposite. I'll send some fucks to your P.O. box. As long as it's TOS friendly. <laughs> as long as as long as it's TOS friendly then uh, I definitely don't mind. Uh... <laughs> oh, and by the way, if you guys have not noticed, uh, the light commands are no longer active. You are only able to now change the color of my lights using Twitch, Twitch channel points. And I feel that I have appropriately designated a an, an amount to them. So enjoy. And out of a popular request, because I was receiving thousands of direct messages to all of my social media, there is even a lights off button. There's even a lights off button. So if you're really interested, you can turn off the lights. That's That's up to you. That is up to you. Well, maybe decide to change them. I just think it makes more sense. I also feel like people will see them more. People will be more aware of the option to change the color of my lights if I put them in the uh, if I put them in the rewards. 
Some people just didn't even know that there was the option to do that. But people do like to look at people's rewards. So we used to, so it used to be free and now we have to pay. Actually, it's more free than it was before because you had to be a subscriber before. And now you can actually not be a subscriber and uh, get all the things. Now it's even more free. How is Lilith? She's currently on my computer, so I would say pretty good. She's she's treating, I, I, I've been treating her well and vice versa. The price to change the lights is too damn high. 100 points, 100 points is, is your limit. That's too much for you. No, that's a, that, that is the hat that I was wearing today. Mm. When I come back from class and I really just don't feel like I came back from class and then I got dinner with one of my friends and I just didn't feel like doing my hair. So I wore a hat. No worries, Lemon. I appreciate the lurk. Yo, more. Thank you for the gifted sub, dude. I really, really appreciate it. Thank you, thank you. That is true, Schultz. That is very, very true. That is very, very true. Um. Oh, it would be so dark if I turned off these lights. Actually, I was kind of uh, when I was messing around with the uh, when I was messing around with the channel points, I would turn off my um, I would turn off my little key light because I wanted to see how bright the colors were. It's kind of cool, honestly. The colors are actually pretty pretty cool with the lights off. I'm not gonna lie, it's really a vibe. I feel scams. Well, that's you don't have to spend the point. Here's the thing. Here, here. There are hats that aren't XDAD branded. Yeah. yeah. Surprise. I like this better. You think so? Do you like this more? This is definitely sleepy vibes. You look better too. <laughs> yeah, maybe maybe this is cooler. I don't know. This has this definitely has some late night vibes. I will say, it, it feels like uh, it feels like I'm in a city. You know what I mean? Yeah, what's up, little cheeky? How you doing, bro? Hi, how you doing? Are you in a relationship now? Uh, no, I I I I, I promise you, I am not in a relationship at the moment. Would I like to be? That that is also up to question. I wish it worked like that. I wish it, I wish I could just snap my fingers, but What's the best part about Switzerland? I don't know, but the flag is a big plus. Huh, that's good. That's a good joke. I'm good in you, bruh. I'm exhausted. But I'm doing pretty damn good. I uh I took the weekend off to relax, gather all the things in my brain, and now, I mean now. I'm ready. Honestly, I I feel like I can do anything. That's the I have I have such a positive mindset after this weekend. Let me let me tell you what's going on. Let me tell you what's going on. First of all, first of all, I have straight A's because I'm I'm an absolute genius mastermind of mental health counseling. <laughs> That's not true, but I'm doing pretty good. Straight A's. Second off, I officially like have a therapist. 
Locked in. That's pretty damn good, too. Third off, I have never... It's been a long time since I've been this excited, happy to be streaming. I'm just, I'm just so pumped. Life is good. Life is so damn good. Getting me in the New York mindset? <laughs> yeah, maybe. Uh, I've, I have always been in the New York mindset. My, my mind is so focused. Should I really keep these lights off? I feel like you guys literally can't see my face. Is this worse? I have no clue. Is this worse? Is this better? I have no clue. Do I smell good? Hell yeah. I smell like cologne, I think. I hope so. I think I smell... Wait, let me... Yeah, I think I smell pretty good. I think I prefer the lights on. Yeah, me too. I don't know. It, it <laughs> Take it off. When we hit partner, that's, uh, I've already said, we've already made, I've been saying this for a while. If, if and or when we hit partner, we will do a shirtless stream, but not before. If you made an ex dad cologne, what would, it, what would it smell like? That is a good question. Uh, I have no clue. I don't really know the smells of cologne. I'm not somebody that can be like, oh, are you wearing, are you wearing Chanel number no. five? I can't do that. That's like not me. <laughs> like, does this smell good? Yes. I am sabotaging the partner push. That is not true. I would never. Oh, you think I, you think, <laughs> what happened before? Why was I allowed to wear a shirt before, but now I'm not allowed to? Like musky or floral? Oh, um, it would definitely be a blue scent. If I, if there was an Xdad cologne, it would be a blue scent, if that makes sense. Oh my god, didn't know that's what PP stood for. Surprise. <laughs> uh I I I didn't I I believe I made up the PP. Definitely I guess someone else out there could have made up the acronym of PP, but I was under the impression that I created that. So if you didn't know, it's completely understandable. What is my favorite show? Should we just do like a truth or dare? Is this what's going on right now? <laughs> uh, favorite artist. Favorite favorite show. Boy. Uh, I don't really watch a lot of television, so it'd have to be like an anime or something, probably. My favorite artist, I, I think Green Day is, Green Day is still my favorite band. My music taste has changed. Answering what is my favorite artist is such a hard question, the older that you get, I think. Because my, my music taste has just never stagnated. Every, almost every couple of years it changes to something new. I'm full of surprises. That's not the only thing I'm full of. I. You'd be surprised what I'm full of. When are you going to let me buy you Louis Vuitton? Do it. You won't. No favorite cartoons from when you were younger? I mean, that's a different story. Favorite cartoons from when I was younger, Teen Titans was fantastic. Uh, you know, Courage the Cowardly Dog, N Naruto, Dragon Ball Z. But they aren't like my favorite shows now. 
They are my favorite shows now, like not even close. I'm full of shit. I, I am full of shit sometimes. Is very true. <laughs> it is my autism or is that forward? Wait, what? I'm so confused. Jacob K with the one year of subscriptions. I'm so sorry that you've been subbed to me for a full year. That's <laughs> thank you. I really appreciate it. Thank you, thank you, thank you. You're full. <laughs> that's a good one too, Tech. That's uh, that's pretty smart. Yeah, Teen Titans was fantastic. My my, I think my first childhood crush was Raven from Teen Titans. I I literally remember being like five, or maybe six years old, and having such a big crush on Raven. So. Yeah, but th those aren't... Th th your taste changes as you get old. I'm old now. I'm boomer status, essentially. So... I'm boomer status. Uh, Titans is a live action show now. Yeah, that's just not how it should be. Hello, Hachi. Omoyobomo Shinduru. Raven, Icon, my favorite Starfire, for sure. You like jazz? My favorite was the white cloaked Raven from that one episode where we get to see all of Raven's like interpersonalities. That was sick. That was by far the coolest. Good night, Key. I appreciate you. Hi, XFam. I'm drunk and have a 9 a.m. class tomorrow. I'm making great decisions. You know what's funny is that I actually wanted to drink tonight. I just had this urge to, like, I wanted to, like, go out and, like, I wish tonight was a Friday or something. Or, like, a, you know, like a Thursday night. I wanted to go out. I wanted to go dancing. I wanted to go drinking. Wasn't she young, Raven? I don't know. I don't know how old they are in the show. No clue. I think they're 18, but maybe I'm wrong. I appreciate Lily. All right, fine. I see how it is. Key, then go the host. Uh, Raven's powers are pretty interesting. Raven is actually like one of the strongest, if not the strongest member of the Teen Titans, to be fair. Her father is literally Satan or something. <laughs> I have a twisted tea in my hand. What is going on? It is a it is a Tuesday night. Are you okay, chat? Are you guys okay? I all right, I'm gonna be right back because I really gotta pee. I've been drinking water nonstop today because I've been healthy. I I've had multiple meals today. I've had multiple glasses of water. I've never been more healthy in my life. C drinking some whiskey, jeez. You guys are you guys are going strong today. It is a it is a Tuesday night. Save some for the rest of us. I'll be right back.
You like jazz? What's up? What did I miss? Anything happen? Pokemane raid? No, Pokemane did not. Pokemane did not raid me, huh? Disappointing, to say the least. A window cam would be cool. Yeah, I think a window cam would be would be kind of cool. I'd have to get a really really long USB. So I'm not exactly sure how that would work out. And also, uh, I would unintentionally, I guess now intentionally, be doxing myself, assuming that you would be able to see what's going on outside and figure out my location. <laughs> so that could be kind of dangerous, Loki. That could be kind of dangerous. Yeah, that's probably not probably not a super smart idea. Mm. But I like where your head's at. I think I'd rather get a cat cam going. I tried to set up a little bed for her in like the corner of the room, but uh, she just doesn't really like it. I'm gonna have to get another one. Cats are so picky. Nothing, nothing that you could, nothing you do for them satisfies them. Nothing you do is good enough. Wake up. I'm, I'm awake. Hi. It's currently midnight. I have a I have another class tomorrow. How awake do you want me to be? Should I be screaming? I feel like I'm pretty calm right now. I feel like I'm pretty... I feel like I'm doing, I'm doing pretty well. Just chilling. How you been, Ashley? Mmm. I actually have a... Um, I actually have a different idea that <laughs> I have I have a completely different idea that I've been really excited to try out but it's gonna take a little bit of time for me to actually get it set up no clue when I'm actually gonna be able to do it but I predict in the next month or two how early is my class? Oh, it's late. I'm not worried about it. I have class at like four tomorrow. I just have to read. I have to like be prepared and I'm definitely like not prepared. I've had a crazy day. How am I? Doing pretty well. Um, I had two back-to-back three-hour courses today that were pretty intense for the first day. Um, what else? Oh, I just had a little sleep as well, so. Thank you, Danny. I appreciate you being here. Thank you to everybody that is currently here. Thank you to all the lurkers boosting the viewer count. It means a lot. Uh, I'm all ears. How many ears do you have if you're all ears? At least five. Or are you just one giant ear? Thank you for the lurk angel i do appreciate you i know a lot of you are lurkers out there so thank you for supporting the stream by being here uh made sub survivor and wait wait you were on espn that's so dope that's so cool good for you it's been a very good day for you it I, i'd say it's been a very good day for pretty much a majority of the people that i know so i'd say i'd say it's been pretty good 
No, yeah. Well, he's all ears. All ears. So he's only ears. And there are bones in ears. So that's, that's must be fair. Um, straight A student things. Well. Oh, speaking of straight A's, looking into PhD programs. If I decide, like officially, that I want to pursue a PhD, I will not be finished school until I'm about 30. <laughs> I, and that has been sitting with me all day, and I don't know how to feel. Hi, Nora. Greetings. How are you doing? It's nice to see you. You almost had a panic attack beforehand. Well, I'm glad that you made it through. That's pretty awesome. Not going to lie. I just enrolled in my PhD. I'll finish by 29. Good for you. What are you getting your uh, PhD in? Yeah, I... I'm so torn because I really want to pursue higher education. You know, Dr. Dad is really something to strive for. But at the same time... Do I really want to be in school till I'm 30? I guess, I guess I've been in school for so long that like, what's a few more years, you know? <laughs> Being older when you start practice will have more gravitas. That is true. That is true. Um, what's up, fuckers? I have arrived. People arrive. What's up, Tori? Hey, thank you for the 20 months. That's crazy. Thank you. Thank you. That's why I had a doctor. Oh, that's funny. That's so funny. Uh, yeah, I guess being older will help. But at the same time, I really want to start, you know? I just want to be doing therapy. I'm just, I'm so ready to get out there into the world and start practicing. That spending more time not doing that feels kind of lackluster. But it's probably all for the better. At the end of the day, at the end of the day, the re the reasons why I want to be a doctor is one, one, you get the, you get the prefix. You would all officially have to call me doctor. And if you were to call me mister, I will correct you because <laughs> I just, because it'd be funny. And also I can charge you more money for my therapy, which I mean, that's pretty great. It's a lot of work and connection making, very labor intensive. So, you know, much, you know how much you'll learn in the PhD program? I'll be a friggin' genius. I'll be, I'll be so smart. And the, I'd have a doctorate in philosophy. I will essentially, the moment I graduate, I grow a large white beard and I become like Aristotle or something. I don't know. I, I become a, I become a, Greek philosopher. Wait, he was he was not a philosopher. He was like a scientist, right? I don't know. I become something. <laughs> I ascend. I grow wings. I fly away. Caw. It was very aggressive. How you doing, Tori? It's nice to see you. Oh, yeah. No, it's not like you'll be... It's not like you'll be like more or less reputable because you have a PhD, but it definitely helps. <laughs> Ha be having a doctorate of any kind is just helpful, no matter what. Um. Well, okay, here's, here's the thing, Dan. You make a good point. You make a good point. I've said that therapy was my secondary focus and streaming was your primary. I'm not sure if you should pursue it if that's what you want the most. Let's be real, Dan. Let's let's get on a real level. Here, I'm 25 years old, almost 26 next April. Ha I'm 25 and a half, I guess, almost. I my current job 
at the moment. The way I make my money is from Twitch. Your guys' donations, your guys' subs, that is how I essentially live. Having a career doing therapy will make me so much more money than Twitch ever has that not putting my time and energy into that I feel would be a mistake. Here's the thing, and this is just the way that my I've, my mentality has always been. When I don't have something else going on in my life that I feel is productive and getting me going, I, 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 I start to fall behind. So for example, if I was just streaming, right, full time, like let's just say that like I wasn't in school, first of all, I would be making no money <laughs> still because I'd be making this. And then second off, I'd feel so lackluster in my life there's nothing else going on oh streaming gives me the most enjoyment that i the reason why i stream as much as i do is because it gives me the most enjoyment but you also there comes a point where you have to be realistic haven't been in streams very much been very stressed with some per no worries tori i understand you you have to be realistic and that's just, that is just what is going on. And also, also, there's way less stress on me if I know that I'm going to be pursuing a career that's going to make me money and, like, support my life rather than stream, which is never consistent. Like, stream is literally never, ever consistent. Example. And this is not a, this is not to judge or burn or anything. We have like half the viewers that we had last month i don't know what I, I haven't really done anything different i don't think nothing here is consistent i need an amount of consistency something i can rely on so stability is overrated yeah <laughs> stability sucks i hate knowing that i'm gonna have a house to live in <laughs> i hate knowing there's gonna be food on my table i'd rather just roll the dice find stability it's <laughs> a good question I, I don't know i agree that having a career is a very smart idea especially in something you're passionate about but wouldn't you make more wouldn't you make enough money to support yourself with just masters not phd um okay i definitely can if i wanted to just get a master's graduate start a practice do my thing the other pro here's <laughs> Um, I've grown up very lucky, very fortunate, and, uh, I want to grow up, I want to live in New York City. My dream, if you guys don't know what my life dream goal, whatever is, in terms of outside of Twitch, like, let's just remove Twitch from the equation. I want to buy my life goal, like end of life goal. I want to own the New York City apartment that my grandmother used to live in. My she now my late bubby. God arrest her, you know. God bless her. But she used to own an apartment in New York like City. This. It's on Park Avenue. It is it is not particularly the most amazing apartment in the world, but I have a very personal connection to it. When I would spend time with my grandmother in New York City, I would stay in that apartment. And that apartment is not cheap. That apartment is not cheap. And if I'm not able to make that money through Twitch, then I'm going to have to do it some other way. And if that means pursuing education even further, so I can get a doctorate, so I can start getting making more money, then that's just what I'll have to do. I gotta do what I gotta do. I cannot let my dreams continue to be memes. Getting a little triggered, my bad. I won't. Uh, I won't pick anymore. It's like a bad habit of mine. 
I stand what I said by PhD in philosophy. <laughs> uh, but no, that is that is legit my dream. My my dream is to own that apartment. There is really like nothing I could. Uh, there's no other physical thing that I would ever strive for. Like thing like something I would want to own, not just like a not just like a state of mind or something, you know. Guess what my PhD is on live streaming? Didn't you say it was like like psychology something, right? Like communication psychology or something like that? How am I? It's good to see you. I am doing I'm I'm doing well, Faye. It's been a long day for me. I'm a little tired. We're we're just talking about life, you know? Life goals, how to accomplish them. If you want to stream professionally, staying in school is a better way to go. You'll have a much harder time motivating yourself to build an audience if you're working full-time versus school. Oh, here's the thing. Here's what I've decided. If I'm... if This past weekend, giving me, like, a few days off, I've really been able to think about what I want to do with stream. What I want to do with my life. Streaming is if sh everything worked out with stream, which I I think it will. I have a lot of confidence in stream. And I don't know why, but I really do because it's just something that I enjoy. It's like a passion of mine. If everything goes well with stream, then we'll work it out from there. But at the same time, I want to prepare for the future. Let's. What happens if Twitch were to just get deleted? Can you imagine if I put all of my time and energy? Oh, have fun, Cheryl. Oh, you're going to New York? That's a good time. How much rent are we talking? No, no, no. I want to own the apartment. I don't want to rent an apartment. I want to own a physical apartment. <laughs> Consumer psychology nested within the context of live streaming because there are opportunities here. That's really cool because I've actually done quite a few of my papers about live streaming and the psychology behind it so that's really cool what did i do today besides your mom um i had two back-to-back -back three hour courses um i did some homework assignments mm. that's pretty much it i've really been out and about today Twitch will never pull just chatting streams. That's just not going to happen. Twitch makes Twitch makes more money from just chatting streams than almost anything else. Like, it's not close. <laughs> Look at all the top streamers. They all do just chatting. Every single one. Like, even XQC, even though XQC is like a variety streamer, he's like a just chatting streamer now. Like, they would never do that. And I agree. I don't think Twitch is going anywhere for a very long time. But I have to be okay. You're like jazz. I, I am not mentally okay with putting all of my dice rolling, you know, putting all of my chips on Twitch. And you know why? You know why? Because there are probably hundreds, thousands of streamers that are better than me, make better content than me, whatever that have less viewers, less of a community, less of everything. Nothing here is consistent. Twitch is luck of the draw. It's all it is. Right place, right time. Right place, right time. But with that being said, I'm not gonna give up Twitch. Even if I'm full-time working, you know, running a practice, I'm not gonna give it up. I'm here for life. I've I've committed. Inconsistency creates gaps and opportunities to thrive. Mm. Yeah, I mean, inconsistency definitely allows opportunity for like viral situations, right? That's definitely true. Essentially, I won't quit. I gotta go work back up to 2K. Oh yeah, have fun. <laughs> I. 
two people have claimed the lights off reward to realize that it's such a scam. <laughs> You know what you could do to be special therapy via Twitch? Well, there is what, what's his name? Healthy gamer, right? Like he's like a Twitch streamer that does therapy. Um, I don't know specifically what it would take to get that kind of approval. As in, there is no confidentiality when it comes to online live streaming therapy. You get none. <laughs> He, there it is all so i don't know how i don't know how that works do you even have somebody signed informed consent therapy even you know you know a lot of the papers that i've written have been about how having an online internet personality while also having a private practice is a very gray area giving advice as a streamer who happens to be a therapist that is true i have done advice streams in the past i have done advice streams uh in fact if i ever decide to create a stream schedule which i think that is i think that we are approaching a time chat that i am might create a stream schedule i think that we are we are we are slowly encroaching that we're gonna have planned out days <gasps> surprise i know that's very unlike me to actually plan out something that's true sigmas i guess if it, i don't know it depends especially with voice chat now that you've explained where your heart is i agree pursuing your masters would be the best way to get your goal of earning yeah well okay pursuing the masters is happening i'm gonna get my master's degree I just want to have, why can't, why can't I have, and I, I, you're, I know you're not saying this at all, but I think having a career alongside a, a secondary grind is a smart idea, just kind of in general. Oh, yeah. when do you have to decide to make a schedule? Oh, I've already like decided. It's more about what I want to do on specific streams. Are you, or do you mean for the PhD program? A PhD program, uh, I have to call the different schools that I'm interested in applying to. And that would be the best part. That would be the best part. If I get into my dream school, which would be NYU, I just get to do all the content that I want to make in New York City, just like I wanted to. I have news. All right, I'm ready, Faye. Paging, yeah. That'd be kind of... I don't think I'd ever be paged. Who uses pages anymore, right? I'm being... So I, I, I have to be smart, though. That's the thing. Is that, like... For a very long time in my life, I had no clue what oh, I wanted. I did not know what I wanted to do in my life until... Jeez, the end of my end of my college, end of my undergrad, literally had no clue. And that was when I started streaming. Because I started streaming and I was like, wow, I love this. I, I want to do this every day. Which I did, literally, every day, seven days a week. Which was <laughs> very much a grind that drained me. But you just have to be realistic. I, I want to make money. <laughs> I want to have... I want to be able to afford all the things that I want to afford. You know, I want to, I want to own an apartment. I want, you know, I want to be able to go out into the city. I want to, I want to be able to do things and I will do whatever I need to do in order to get myself to that point. I think that's just the responsible thing to do. Oh, that's crazy. I did see that Dan. I did. I applied and got a scholarship in the city I love the most, so you can too. That's pretty encouraging. What is my degree in again? I am studying therapy. Mental health counseling is what it's called. Uh, it's a little different. Uh, I wish I was smart enough to get into my dream grad school. Uh, I, I think that you are plenty smart and you can accomplish anything that you put your mind to. Hello, I'm Ace or Philip. 
Hey, you see they? I'm Pan, I'm Ichi, and I hate my dad. You and I are very similar, Train. How are you doing? Um, don't feel bad. I just turned 40 something and I still don't know what to do. That's fine. I mean, like, here's the thing. At the end of the day, here's the thing. At the end of the day, as long as you're happy, that's all that really matters, right? You could be homeless, jobless, but if you're happy, then, then there's really nothing to worry about. I know what would make me the happiest is to achieve my goals, is to actually, like, make my dreams come true. It's kind of lame, kind of cliche, but... If you want any advice or anything you kind of want to know about a PhD, let me know, have to answer. I guess my biggest question about PhD is that, um, I feel like the PhD program that I want to get accepted to has a very small acceptance rate. It's like a 5%. And I don't have any experience or jobs currently involved in the mental health field. I will have my internships later for my master's program, which I guess technically counts. Um, that's all programs. Does having a does if I were to graduate with a 4.0 from my my master's program, would that look really good for a PhD? Would they like would they really take that into consideration, or am I just like, am I just like, over, <laughs> like putting too much into it? I know you can't buy happiness, but I'd really like to win the lottery. So would I. <laughs> That'd be pretty nice. Too bad I don't play the lottery. I want to be the very best like no one ever was. <laughs> I don't really want to be the very best. I, I, I've i never really wanted to be the very best. Maybe in like Magic the Gathering or something, but... What sold me was a well-crafted personal statement. Well, I'm pretty good at writing, I would say. I'm pretty good at interviews, uh, I, and I'm pretty good at writing. My my undergrad degree is in journalism, so I, maybe I have a, a better chance. You don't want to catch them all, like diseases? Probably not. Get your university professors now to vouch you as a reference. Are you saying, go ask the university professors that I like for a letter of recommendation? Is that what you mean? Because that's not probably a good idea. The lottery might or may or may not be... It is your birthday. Oh yeah, it's your 18th birthday. Happy birthday, Faye. That is amazing. Good job. You lived 18 years. If they are related, yes. What do you mean if they're related? I need three letters of recommendation for, for PhD. So I was on the Magic the Gathering leaderboards once. That is true. Uh, I also, uh, <laughs> I've done nothing in magic. I've done nothing in that game. Nepotism? What about it? Ah, interesting. Okay, that's a good idea. That's a good idea. I'll probably ask them. Yeah, I don't know. Make your dreams come true. Make your dreams come true. Work hard. That's what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to do my best. I guess that's really what I'm trying. My best. Hmm. Yeah, just do it. It's easy. Just, just, you know, go make your dream come true. I also think that a doctor degree is stupid in my case. It really depends. Uh, you, you may not need a doctorate. I, in fact, I don't need a doctorate. However, when it comes to, when it comes to anything that is related to health, mental health, physical health, having doctor behind your name really boosts you really boosts you 
it just even if you are a good mental health counselor somebody will pick the person that has doctor in their name before you it shows you know your shit absolutely it does absolutely it does did you write a scathing review of your one professor i did not actually i didn't do the uh <laughs> i should have i got an a in that class so i was really relieved honestly if i got a b then i probably would have because <laughs> you have to suffer for three to four years of research see it's kind of fun writing a dissertation spending two years to write a write an, a 100 page dissertation sounds exciting you know how well informed i'll be I've even, I've even tried to think about what I would write a dissertation about. A hundred thousand words. So? I've read my mother's dissertation for her PhD program. So? Law is weird because master's is a higher level than the doctorate. Really? Is that true? Um, I'm a lighting designer. Tell me something I know. No, I mean, like, to be fair, in today's day and age... With the way that the internet works, uh, you definitely can learn a lot online without having to go to a, an actual school. In fact, I'm I'm starting to think that like it's not necessarily true, but I'm starting to think that just schools are almost a scam. The fact that like you need a bachelor's degree at minimum, at minimum, to get an entry level job is kind of ridiculous. Like, it's. The way that schooling has worked is now it's just created a pattern that you like need like soon which i mean it already is happening a bachelor's degree won't even be enough unless you have connections connections trump everything <laughs> if you know somebody you're good money has never been a factor for me i wanted to be a public defender either way content creation doesn't make a ton but I don't need a ton of money to be happy, just enough to live freely. Money has been important for me because of the way that I want to live my life. If I want to live in New York City, and that is like my goal, money is unnecessary. I want to be independent. I think that that is in the reality, the actual goal. I want to be independent, living on my own. You like jazz? Check your mic cable, there's a hum. Or how about this? Did I fix the humming or is it still there? We prefer your calming voice. Oh. Please react. All right, Ant, out of curiosity, out of curiosity. Do I look like a monkey? Chat, do I look like a monkey? Least favorite ex dad stream. <laughs> You're right, how dare I encourage you to follow your dreams? Borderline evil, one might say borderline evil I want to be able to have a kids in a home one day and it's frightening frightening expensive yeah I mean like that's like my late term this talk made me depressed oh my god wow I'm sorry I thought it was trying to be encouraging that was that was my fault I was really trying to boost you guys boost you guys up get you guys motivated But yeah, I mean, like, eventually I want kids of my own. I want a family. I want a home. I can't really think about that now, though. I feel like I'm way too young to really worry about that. 25, thinking about having kids, like, just not there yet. Let's finish school first. Let's get a, let's get a job first before I start thinking about having kids. <laughs> yeah, how dare I be a good role model? Things that I've been in poverty and majority. I don't think having money has taught a different has taught a different value to money. 
I just want to financially free enough to make proper decisions. I understand that. I understand that. Um, I, I don't, I don't, I have not lived your experience by any means, but, um, from my life experience, I, my family started off middle class, like very, like lower middle class. And then after my parents split, we were, we were pretty, pretty poor. We were living in like a, I remember for like a period of time, we were living like in a tenement building with like a bunch of other families. We like shared, it was really weird. It was like we shared like a room. We had, we had like a room, it was like my sister, my mom and I all sharing like this bedroom. There was like no door. And there were like multiple families living in this, it, it was it was very odd. Like five families sharing like a kitchen. And then my mother pretty much uh, placed all of her chips on starting a business and it did well. And then all of a sudden we had money for like the first time, which was, uh, let me say, I don't want to go back to not having money. <laughs> it kind of sucked. Yes, that would be my cat. That would be Lily. Who is currently she was bathing and soon to be taking a nap i can tell oh my my mother is an absolute champion absolute champion the best role model of of my life one of as long as you become don't become blinded by fame you think i will be famous Let's get to the fame first, I guess. <laughs> I, I highly doubt that. Cats live such nice lives, taking a rest from all the rest they've been taking. I know. Cats sleep like 18 hours a day or some nonsense. And you know, Lily actually has a PhD. Her, her full name is Dr. Lily Thunder. Meaning that she has achieved my goals before I even was able to. How long have you lived? How long have you, she lived in the house we saw? Uh, the house in Margate, we have lived for like five years now. I've lived in like eight different homes since I was a kid <laughs> like I've never really had like a stagnant place you can already check that box what box what box am I checking I mean this isn't the already famous ex dad I'll tell you what if we hit partner maybe I, I wouldn't even say that we're fa I wouldn't even say that's fame Twitch fam. <laughs> Cats just get to relax and don't even pay rent. Yeah, and you know what the... And you have to clean up after that. You have to clean their shit. <laughs> Insult to injury. Not only do they live for free and sleep all day, then you have to feed them. Well, look at her. What is she even doing? I don't even know. It doesn't matter. She gets to live a life. She just gets to be cute by existing. Oh, being... Fa I'm not famous. That is just not true. <laughs> That is just, just not true. And fame is such like a weird, like, it's weird to say that like, yeah, you could say Pokimane is famous, you like jazz? but there's a lot of people in the world that would still not know who she is. Do you get what I mean? The fame that you get from Twitch is so different than the fame that you get from movies and stuff. It's just, just different. My cat's happy place is on my keyboard. That's cute. Lily doesn't really do that. She's She knows to not really be, like, on my things. You're cute. Oh, thank you. Um, rent. Yeah, rent sucks. When you get partner, you uh, go to Las Vegas for a weekend. I've never been to Las Vegas in my life, so maybe...
you see it you guys talking about this is why i'm also interested in working with um i've talked about this before like a while ago working with clients that are that have fame is definitely something that uh is definitely something that I'm interested in because they live such different lives and have such different problems than like the average everyday person. I think that'd be kind of cool. The point is don't get blinded by crazy things. You have goals that you want to achieve. Don't get distracted. Uh, I, I don't plan to, I appreciate the, uh, I appreciate the sentiment though. Like what, what you're trying to say. I don't plan on it. I have goals. I'm planning on achieving them. Um, my short-term goal at the moment is to enjoy stream. Because uh, I was feeling really burnt out. Not really feeling very happy. So. And I'm making all my dreams come true. Different, however, Twitch is still a new platform. It's going to skyrocket. You think so? I feel like it's already skyrocketed i guess i could still do pretty well i don't know what the future is though i wish I, if you find out what the future is like if you happen to have like a magic crystal ball or you're like an oracle please do let me know like tomorrow's lottery ticket numbers you know slide them by i appreciate it dms are open want a tarot reading Sure, do it. Tell me, tell me what my fortune is. Hi, Dave. Be your best self and enjoy life. That is what I plan on doing. I I want to be my best self. I try. I strive for it. Why rent when you can own nothing? <laughs> you own nothing when you rent. To be fair. I don't need a crystal ball. I have statistical data. Spoken like a true. PhD student. Bad tractions, I'm living proof. Either way, you'll be fine. I think I'll be fine. I, you know what? I, I've, I lost my pessimistic view on life years ago. I would say I am a, I am pretty optimistic about the future. Not just for me, but for all of you as well. Because I just think you have to. You'll be like that too. I, I, I actually, I, I do agree with data and statistics. I'm, I, I would, I would, I'm a, I, I'm a man of numbers. So, <laughs> imagine being optimistic. What do you mean? In order to achieve anything, you have to be optimistic. Like you can't having a dream, a goal, is optimism, right? wanting the best there was a kappa where i'm sorry i'm sorry it's late for me it's my bedtime i don't believe in divination but i used to so of course ball i used to use oh that's cool can you tell me my future It's 12 a.m. It's actually almost 1 a.m. now. Being at the intersection of realism and optimism, that is, that is where I am at. That is where I'm at. You can't be too optimistic, because... <laughs> optimistic outlook ensures something positive will happen. That's not even necessarily true. You could be incredibly optimistic, but have everything go wrong for you. Uh, it definitely helps, though. If you're not having an optimistic view on life increases your chances of good things to happen because you'll try harder yeah too much yeah pretty much half joking I'll, so you half hate me i hate you i love you i hate that i get you get on my nerves that's good <laughs> mission accomplished mission accomplished i made you feel something at the end of the day if i made you feel something i've won anger <laughs> happy sad uh 
Oh, Jesus. I don't want your stock predictions. I, I don't want them. I don't want your stock predictions. I'm all in on Dogecoin. <laughs> Every single cent I've ever made from Twitch has gone directly into Dogecoin. And that is how it shall stay. <laughs> I'm not angry, it causes wrinkles. That's why I moisturize. I actually need to get new mo moisturizer. Thank you for reminding me, Ashley. Why did you change your P.O. Box opening day? Uh, I open my P.O. Box every first Friday rather than every other Friday because now that I no longer live in the city that it's in, I live like a half hour away from my P.O. Box. And uh, I don't really like driving, I'm not going to lie. Driving is one of my least favorite activities to do in life. My first least favorite is probably waking up. <laughs> That's pretty dark. That's pretty funny, though. Uh, my second is probably driving. Speaking of which, I saw a Twitch stream that had a cryptocurrency donation link. Would you consider something like that? Yeah, probably. I would, I would give you guys like a um, like a like a like a wallet ID if you really were interested in donating crypto. I didn't really think many people use crypto. I could I could ask DJ, but I I really don't think that's the way it works. You have to like rent it, you know. Hoping my shipment arrives there before then. Yeah, I'm I hope so too. I th also, I mean, there's a lot of actually good positives about uh, moving my the P.O. Box opening date. Um, <laughs> going to the P.O. Going to the post office every Friday to find out that there's no package was slightly saddening. <laughs> so having one day a month that I know that there's probably going to be at least one thing because it's a build up of an entire month is kind of nice. And also, uh, it gives something it gives us something to look forward to. Like we know the first Friday of every month is gonna be a fun day. Driving is a study in really what? What does it even mean? I don't know what that means. Driving is so therapeutic. Yeah, I don't really like that. Here's the thing. I think that I've been in too many. <laughs> I think I've been in too many car accidents that I just don't really enjoy driving anymore. Some were caused by me, some were not caused by me. No one was hurt. I mean, five people died, but like, whatever. That was a joke. It was six. Yeah, uh, I I just don't, I just don't like driving. <laughs> You, my dream, once again, is to move to New York City, where I can just take public transportation literally everywhere. Oh, yeah, I I have pretty high anxiety. I, I don't really think that, that really changes very much, but maybe it does. I don't know. Hello, Mimi. Edgy x dad is a fun vibe. <laughs> I guess I am feel, feeling kind of edgy tonight. That's kind of the... Um, I'm just in like a no bullshit kind of mood, you know? I'm too tired to really, uh... I'm too tired. It's been a long day for me. I actually had to try, get up, be a person, so... I'm glad that you guys were able to come out and hang out, though. I don't know if we're gonna actually get to the game that uh, we were playing yesterday. I think I'm probably gonna end stream, like, kinda early-ish, so I can get some sleep. Do not know when that will be, but whenever I actually feel like it. Edgy or shady? Do you think I'm shady today? Do I feel shady to you? Do I do I look like I'll sell you drugs off the street? I feel like that's what shady means. Hi, cab. Greetings. Started driving again after an accident. I don't know about you, but I find it hard to get to the flow state of mind. Um... No, yeah, I mean, for sure. Like, any accidents are, like, not fun. So, I just... 
don't know. I just don't like getting behind the wheel of like a 2,000 pound vehicle that could just do bad things. Thank you for the 100 biddies audio. I really appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you. You're pretty well lit, not shady. You are correct. You are technically correct, which is the best kind of correct. Sleeping is for the dead and me. I'm tired. <laughs> oh, we've had that. That was a fun conversation, though. Uh. I don't know how I'm supposed to inspire you all. <laughs> how do I how do I get some inspiration going? I want you all to reach your dreams and goals. How do we do that? How do we collectively as a community make all of your dreams come true? I guess one person at a time. Who's got dreams that I can help you fulfill right now? At 1 a.m. August 25th. Uh Oh god. The bigger the better in Texas, no chance. Um I'm also really happy that these lights are working. I I was really nervous about it. Big question. Is that really a big question? I think it's pretty easy. You just tell me the dream and I'll snap my fingers. And uh uh 50% chance it comes true, right? Either it does or it doesn't. My dream is to make you smile. Oh, that's very cute. That's very wholesome. I don't know how wholesome I'm feeling tonight. I guess a little bit. <laughs> okay. All right, all right. We're, we're using an emote like that, then uh, then it is a little creepy. <laughs> then it is a little bit creepy. All right. I am I am slowly slipping into a. Uh, disassociative state where my brain is leaving my body which means that is my way of saying goodnight come sail away i don't understand your metaphors and your and your i i don't even i don't understand what's going on <laughs> Where am I? <laughs> Where am I? Who am I? What is going on? Um Yeah, my brain is my brain is falling asleep. It's been a long day of learning. I There's only so many folds that my brain can create in one day, you know? Only so many folds. So, I'm going to call it a night. I really do appreciate you guys being here and supporting me. I really love you guys. I don't normally stream on Wednesdays, but I've been feeling pretty good. So, maybe you guys will get a stream tomorrow. Like, like, like I might have to move the, um, like the Wednesday night off stream to Tuesday. I, I kind of want to make a schedule in the future for stream and see if that helps kind of everything like viewer count, like jazz. um, getting some variety, keeping like keeping, keeping me happy. And then I guess we could always change the schedule if it doesn't work out. So, uh, if I, if I do that, I will, I will let you guys know you guys, I'll, I'll be posting it on all my social medias and stuff. If you guys are not following me, by the way, on social media, Twitter, Instagram, YouTube, Discord, I would really appreciate it if you did. Um, I also want to try out some early streams. I think that uh, since school is starting back up and people are no longer going to be... Um, I have a feeling that since school is starting up, people are really not going to be able to stay up as late. And, 
you know, I still want to hit partner. I still want to try to do my best and figure out good times. Then I'm thinking that maybe doing earlier streams will be helpful. Uh, actually, let's do let's do a little poll. This is this is for my own little, my own benefit, my own. I'm curious. And as many of you who can answer this, I would greatly appreciate it if you did. Lurkers too, if you could. Totally up to you. Um, so let's do it like this. All right, so simple, simple poll that I would really appreciate if you guys would answer, just, just to get an idea, because I know a lot of you are, might just say that you'd prefer this time because you guys are awake right now. Um, but I just want to get a general idea of what you guys would think about stream being earlier in the day. And that 5 to 6 p.m. time slot is just a general. It could be earlier than that or like a little bit later than that. Oh boy, Mr. Cthulhu with a Cthulhu raid. How was your stream? I was I was doing a little lurk and jerk, you know what I mean? I really do appreciate it. Hi everybody. Hello, hello. Hello, hello. It's really nice to see, meet, touch, smell all of you. How uh you were playing Granny, right? I've never seen that game before. However, it looks pretty fun. It looks pretty fun. Yeah, everybody that doesn't know who I am, coming over from Brian's stream, my name is Tyler. You're not my dad! Uh, I'm going to get milkshakes. I hope you've been well, Gulb Kumf. Make sure, be prepared for all the boys that will be flowing into your yard, okay? Just be prepared. I, I really thank you for the 21 months as well, Brian. I, that means a lot. Yeah, for everybody that's coming over from his stream, my name is Tyler. I'm a full time variety streamer. I mostly do just chatting, but like we do variety stuff. And I'm in grad school to become a therapist. And that is my life. And currently at the moment, I'm asking stream about why they are degenerates and stay up until 1 a.m. with me. Because that's, that's a pretty good question. <laughs> like, why? So, like I guessed, a majority of you would rather be me stream, like, the normal time that I normally stream. So, maybe, like, a little earlier. Like yeah, you're right, Biter. Maybe, like, 9 or 10 p.m. would be best. Mikonzo Sandwich. Thank you guys for all the new followers. It's really nice to meet you. We're currently on a partner push, so uh, the raid really, really helps, and all the viewers that stick around also really help. Being on the West Coast, yeah, that makes a lot of sense, too. That makes a lot of sense. Um, I I kind of want to experiment with different times. I I think that I like doing late night streams because I'm just a, I just like being up late. I'm a night owl. I always have been. I've always been. You know, I don't go to bed till four o'clock in the morning anyway. Uh, I also think that it's kind of cool that because of my late hours, we get a bunch of people that are from different parts of the world. It's kind of interesting, like, especially like, yeah, like, like Australia, like there are like a lot of viewers that are from Australia, which is very interesting. Twitch has a, has a funny way of being able to connect people from around the world. So five or six would be okay. Okay. So I guess a better, I'm from Australia. Oh yeah. Is your degree from going to be from an Australian, uh, an Australian university? All right. So All right. So we'll do it like this then. So
simple poll again. Please, anybody that wants to participate, please, please let me know. Uh, I just want to get a general idea of like pff, what what you guys think would be best for you. What would make your life? How? Let Let's be real. How can I make all of your dreams come true? That is that is what I am here to do. I I started streaming on Twitch because I just wanted to be a miracle worker. So. You tell me your dream, and let's figure out how we can make it come true. And if your dream is for me to start streaming between the hours of 9 and 10 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, then boy, do I... <laughs> boy, can I achieve that one. Texas is a continent. Yeah, Texas is its own country. That is very true. I think that... I honestly think that Florida, Texas, and California are all their own countries. New York doesn't get away with it because they have a tri-state area that are very similar. New York City could be its own country, I guess. But definitely California, Texas, and Florida are their own things. All on their own. They, they have such a subculture. Hello, gaming with Amelia Faith. Greetings. Does your name happen to be Amelia Faith? Because if it's not, then that's a very, uh, <laughs> very misleading username. How about Alaska? Well, Alaska literally was another country, right? It was like part of Canada. Russia? Canada. It's from Canada, right? I think so. I don't know. Geography. What is Alaska? Florida is its own planet. <laughs> well, it's nice to meet you, Amelia Faith. Um, all right. So. All right. Then. How about this? We're going to try. You're not my dad. Hey, Pam. That really means a lot. Thank you for uh, paying it forward and gifting a, gifting a sub. That's really nice of you. Um, oh, I messed up. That 11 to 12 should be 11 p.m. to 12 a.m. You are right. I, I messed that one up. You're definitely right. Uh, yeah, so... I think that it would be the best for me and for you guys for me to start streaming earlier. So maybe uh, maybe we should try to start streaming around like 9 p.m. That would also actually be kind of nice because that means I could get off earlier. I can get to bed earlier. <laughs> actually get some sleep. So that'd be quite a... I think that might, that might be a, a good change. Do I have a pen? No, I don't. I'm just going to have to remember. Actually, I'll remember it. I'm I. Photographic memory. <laughs> I voted the wrong thing. It's okay. No worries. I, I messed it up. I'm not too worried about it. It's it's been a long day for all of us. I, I'm so beat, but I really wanted to see you guys. I really wanted to stream, say hello, test out some new things. If you guys haven't seen. I have updated my channel rewards. Now you can change the color of my lights using the channel rewards. And in fact, if you really wanted to, you can just turn my lights off. So, hello, Dad. Greetings and salutations. Whenever you stream, this is... Whenever you stream, this is my medicine. The chat is my prescription. I, I think that relying on chat to be... Uh, to be the prescription that helps you is not, Chad is not particularly reliable in that aspect. You're putting a lot of faith in them. Also, also, you bring up a, uh, <laughs> you bring up a good, a good thing that I feel like needs to be done, which is, I think that a, I think that a separate channel in Discord needs to be made so that you guys can have an area to talk about personal things and rant. I think that that is a good idea. So that will be done very soon. The house always wins. Am I considered the house here? When, if I'm the house, when do I start winning? Because I'm I'm wa I'm waiting on that. I ha I've been waiting quite a period of time. Uh, I would like at least one win. That would be nice. Uh. <laughs> Well, I was going to sign off because I am really 
tired. It's been a long day for me. I was wondering what all these color claims were. It's the lights, yeah. Yeah, I, I think we're, I am going to sign off, though. Even though we got a lot of uh, brains, brains peeps in here. I would like to get some sleep. I have a class tomorrow. Apparently, from what I've heard, my class tomorrow is uh, a multicultural class. I think it's multicultural and let's see, let's see what it's called. Let's see what it's called. Social and cultural foundations of counseling. So, and from what I've heard from my roommate, this class is going to be particularly difficult for me because I am white. So that's kind of cool. I'm excited for a difficult class. Oh, you're good, Dan. No, it was understandable. I'm glad I found your stream. I hope you have a wonderful night. Thank you. Hello, I'm bored. Hi, bored. I'm dad. Uh, yes, I, I am pansexual. Yes. Uh, <laughs> yeah, for anybody that doesn't know, uh, I stream every day except for Wednesday and Sunday around 11 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. But based off of the overwhelming amount of votes that was achieved in the poll, all 12, I think that I'm going to try to push back my stream schedule to closer to 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. No clue if that will have any positive or negative effect, but it's worth a shot trying out something new. Do push-ups. How about this? How about you make me? For every sub that you gift right now, Holix, I will do one push-up. There you go. There's some incentive. Thousand push-ups. I'll be here all night. All right. I am going to go to bed, though. Can you explain what a therapist is? If you go to a therapist, uh, <laughs> oh my God, am I being trolled? I think I'm just being trolled, right? I'm too tired. I have no clue. I, you, you guys have to be my trolling translator. <laughs> all right, all. Uh, oh, that's awesome. Well, it's really nice to meet you, Amelia Faith. I don't know why I'm calling you by your full name, but I think it's fun. Uh, yeah, it's really nice to meet you. If you guys are new here, please, please, please. Follow me on Twitter, uh, Instagram, YouTube, Discord. I really appreciate it. In fact, I'm currently in talks with an editor for YouTube videos. So we'll see how that one works out. Uh, so, Yose, I can't really help you right now. I'm sorry. But uh, maybe... Maybe if we end up doing an advice stream, maybe I can help you guys out with life. Uh, okay, yeah. So please follow me on social media. I'd really appreciate it. Uh, thank you to everybody that did come out for tonight. I am currently on a partner push. My dream is to hit partner on Twitch, one of my many dreams. So to all the people that have been here lurking, jerking, it really, it's really nice of you. So uh, I will... I will maybe be back on tomorrow. My schedule says no, but my my mind is telling me no, but my body is telling me yes. So tomorrow we will uh, we will play we will do a coin flip and we'll see what happens. Uh, and we will also cons we will also next time we will finish. Uh, we will finish the game. Twelve minutes, which we have not finished yet. We got through. I would assume a good majority, but I have no clue. So I would like to finish that game. I love you. I'm going to do end of the night wrap up. I'm going to read off all the subs, all the donations, all the base, all of you guys sent me starting from the beginning. Almost two Not hours jazz. ago. Thank you for the follow. Uh, what we got? Dant with the 20 months. Jacob with the one year. Tori with the 20 months. Cab with the hundred biddies, Cthulhu with a thick, thick raid. Cthulhu with the twenty-one months, Pam with the gifted sub, and Sugar Daddy of the night more, with a gifted sub. Thank you, I really appreciate it. Thank you to all the people that donate. It really does mean a lot. Thank you for supporting me. Thank you for paying my rent. <laughs> it really does mean a lot. Uh, 
I'm going to turn on the goodbye sugar so you guys can say goodnight to me and everyone else in stream. It costs one channel point. Please feel free to spam it as much as you would like. Take up the entire stream if you want. I love you. I think you're... Hey, Schultz. Thank you for the 500 good biddies. Night. That really means a lot. Thank you, thank you. You have a good night, too. I'll be back on at some point, probably tomorrow or Thursday, which Thursday is technically tomorrow. Ah, so I'll be back on tomorrow. You can take that forever, whatever you wish it to be. Have a beautiful night. And until next time, until next time, your advice of the night. Advice of the night. Don't. Don't adopt a parrot. Because those things live forever. And you will be giving it to your grandchildren. All right. Goodbye, booty. Good night, everyone. I will see you soon tomorrow.